The stag for Triumph to survive this internal battle needed to be on time. This led purchasing departments to go into overdrive to cut costs at the expense of quality, with lower quality head gaskets being purchased for the new V8. But this wasn't just at the expense of component quality, it affected engineering as well. Triumph engineers were pushed into the idea of making components easier to replace at the expense of widely accepted knowledge. Instead of mounting the heads to the block by running the head studs perpendicular to the block's deck, Triumph only mounted half of them this way, with the other half 20 degrees out of alignment. The results would be catastrophic, with studs unevenly heating causing heads to warp. Another problem was the water pump. Mounted in the middle of the V too high in the block, driven by a jack shaft drive rather than a conventional external driven pulley. The jack shaft drive would have proved ample without the compromises, but as usual, costs were cut, resulting in the gears that drove it being weak. The final nail in the coffin for this engine in its development stages was the timing chain. Due to even more cost cutting, a single very long timing chain was used rather than duplex chains. All of these mistakes would return to haunt the stag, turning what should have been a stunning success into an absolute disaster.